let's tackle some problems involving real estate taxes. Let's say a problem says a property with a market value of $240,000 had a tax assessment rate of 25%, what would be the assessed value? In this case, a math problem gives us one percentage, so that tells me I will need to draw one T. I always like to put the percentage in first if possible because the percentage always goes in the bottom right in our T. So I'll put 25% in the bottom right. The total market value is $240,000. That would be the whole amount and go in the bottom left. So our formula tells us to multiply straight across. So we will take $240,000 times 25% to give us an assessed value of $60,000. That will be our part, and that will be our answer, $60,000. Let's say your problem begins with something like this. A property with a market value of $80,000 was assessed for tax purposes at 30%. The mill rate for the taxes was $55. What would be the amount for the real estate taxes? To begin with, let's discuss a mill rate. A mill rate is a per thousand rate, which is where the taxes are based on a per thousand of value. We will convert that to a percent rate which will tie into our T formula. So we will have a tax rate here, a mill rate for the taxes, and we'll also have the assessed value of 30%. So we will have two percentages, which means we draw two Ts. Let's begin with the assessed value. 30% in our first T goes in the bottom right. The total value is 80,000, so our formula tells us to multiply straight across. So we would take 80,000 times 30% to give us our part or assessed value of $24,000. We pay taxes based on the assessed value. We take the assessed value times the tax rate. Here, the tax rate given is in mills, which is 55. That would be 55.00. The easiest way to convert a mill rate to a percentage is to simply take your decimal place and move it one place to the left. So if we move that decimal one place to the left, that will give us a 5.5% tax rate. We can then put this into our second T. 5.5% will go on the bottom right. The assessed value of 24,000 will be the larger number that goes on the bottom left. So our formula says to multiply straight across. So we will take 24,000 times 5.5% and that would give us our part, or the taxes on this property, of $1,320, and that would be our answer. A problem might say that a property with a market value of $150,000 had a tax assessment rate of 20%. The tax rate was $3 per hundred of assessed value. Per hundred means percent, so that's the same thing as 3%. The amount of real estate taxes would be, once again, they give us two percentages, which means I draw two T's. Let's begin with the first T and figure out the assessed value. The tax assessment rate is 20%, which goes in the bottom right. The total market value is $150,000, which will be the whole amount, the larger number, that goes in the bottom left. Our formula says to multiply straight across. So we would take $150,000 times 20%, and that would give us our part, or our assessed value, of $30,000. The assessed value is what we pay the taxes on. So in our second T, we know that the tax percentage is 3%. That goes in the bottom right. The assessed value will be the larger number, 30000 That's our whole amount. That goes in the bottom left. Once again, our formula says to multiply straight across. So we will take 30,000 times 3%, and that will give us our part, or the actual amount of taxes, of $900 on this property. $900 would be our answer. A problem might say that a property had a tax assessment rate of 25%. The actual taxes paid for the year were $1,500, if the tax rate was $6 per thousand, remember per thousand is a mill rate, 
the total value would be. Well, in this case, we will convert the mill rate to a percentage rate. So once again, in our math problem, we have two percentages. Therefore, we draw two T's. Let's begin with the actual taxes paid of $1,500, and let's look at that tax rate. $6 per thousand, that would be 6.00 for our mill rate. To convert a mill rate to a percentage, we take our decimal place and move it one place to the left. So that will convert a 6.00 mill rate to a 0.6% tax rate on a percentage basis. So in our first T, 0.6% goes in the bottom right for the tax rate. Our taxes for the year are the part. They're a smaller number compared to the value, so that goes up on top for the part. So our T formula tells us to take the top number and divide by the bottom number. So if we take $1,500 and divide by 0.6%, that gives us an assessed value of $250,000 for the whole amount. Let's next go to our second T formula here to figure out the total value. All we have so far is the assessed value. The assessed value represents 25% of the total value. So in our second T, 25% goes in the bottom right. The assessed value of $250,000 would be the smaller number. It goes up on top for the part, which now we know to divide the top number divided by the bottom number. So we would take $250,000 and divide by 25%. That gives us the total market value of $1 million. $1 million would be our answer.